we're talking to Mary McAvoy on the occasion of the uh, of her, the publication of her book Ordinary Beauty Meaningful Moments in Everyday Life Nature is very important to you Mary It is yeah I, I, I suppose think. you live on a farm so you see it all around you every day Yeah I, I that to me is that, that's the thing I, I think you know again I use should but I, I might as well now <laughs> you're not on the John Murray show I'll preach No I, I feel that that we miss the point if we ignore nature and I think again in a bit like the way we 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 idealise youth we idealise urban experience as well you know now I'm not a completely urban person you won't ever me ever see me with rise you know that thing on the back of my four wheel drive I don't have a four wheel drive but if I did you wouldn't have that I don't believe in hunt and shooting all that kind of stuff but I believe in living in balance with nature, you know, but and learning and working with it rather than dominating it. And that's why I kind of think modern farming methods are about domination rather than working with the soil. And work. And, and I, I feel the attitude, you know, that we have to animals that actually give us food mm. is sort of it's so disrespectful. Like a creature is dying so you can live both financially and physically. And don't you think that's does that warrant the utmost respect, kindness? And, and I'm not saying, I'm not giving out about saying people are deliberately cruel, but they kind of ignore that. They kind of just treat them as, I hate the idea that we call our farm animals units. You know, that's what we do. They're, they're living creatures and they die so we can live. And I actually think we should really take that a heck of a lot more seriously than we do. Mm -hmm. um, and that's not to say, I probably will end my days as a vegetarian. I'm not a vegetarian, but I, I do believe in that sort of... You're getting to that stage. Uh, well, yeah. it, it, being ethical about and knowing where your food comes from and knowing, you know, that, that the animal was treated well and, and, and slaughtered humanely and not like these chickens that you buy in the supermarket, just they could be anything. They could The poor things, they, they, they could be you know ball bearings nobody really sees them as living creatures and you know and I don't think that's dippy hippy nonsense I actually think that's a moral issue I really do